Greetings and welcome back to Birthday is the Beginning. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I've been very frustrated trying to get an Ichthyostega. And it occurs to me that maybe I don't have enough of the creatures beforehand to support that animal. So I'm thinking that I would like to actually uh, birth some more of these uh, other creatures that we haven't gotten yet. Like this one sounds really interesting. A small fish that migrated from brackish uh, waters to fresh water as the number of rivers on land began to increase. It will emerge when more mid-elevation rivers appear. So I'm thinking that could be a really good um, starter for some of for for getting the ichthyostega because if we look at our tree here we are missing a ton of animals like all of these guys we're missing these plant or these are animals too like this entire branch is not here yet uh, hot shallows uh, cool climates so there's a lot of different critters that we don't have yet and I'm wondering if we really should get those instead um, all right so let's go back to the game and try to get some of these creatures uh, going on I have tried so many different things to try to get that ichthyostega changing land elevations changing the the sea the deep sea area from you know getting our uh, coelacanthus basically increasing the range to the shores so it's been a very very kind of a tough journey for me to get this done but we're gonna see if we, we can get this to work so I think I would like to actually bring this guy closer to the shore let's see this one and this button there we go get that deep sea moving onward oh and by the way that T number is actually uh, that's the depth of things as you can see I'm moving it downward okay but just to have a little bit more roaming range for these guys there we go 11 deep sea perfect so we'll just get this down as well so that it has <laughs> in case these guys want to leap up onto the shore here and we'll sort that that way all right so I also want to get let's see mid-range rivers now I have a few of these guys already but maybe we need more so these are uplands and I'm thinking I'll increase this area do we have oh we have highlands as well so I'm thinking if we create more uplands and highlands uh, we'll do a little bit better so we'll get these oh no no not that way this way please right and we'll kind of redesign our river system a bit yeah I don't want that little spike there that is slightly annoying to me okay there we go that's better and this can also go down this area whoopsies okay right okay I think that's looking a little bit better uh, possibly <laughs> of course we're gonna have more waterfalls lots more waterfalls but I want to have kind of an area of more uplands here so let's get this a little bit bigger and I want to get this uh, sort of valley out of here Oh, no, 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 wrong way. Come on, I wanted some of this too, please. There we go. And we'll have this nice, like, nice waterfall cascade. The other thing that this does for us is um, basically it gives us like building platforms, like platforms where the animals can sort of. Um, like oh no okay there we go platforms where animals can um, uh, evolve because they like to have the flatlands as I understand it so I think that's kind of cool um, right so let's uh, get this going we can just have this one river going down the whole way that'll be really pretty I think We'll have it go this way. 
we'll go this way as well. Oh, lovely. Okay, so that's gonna go. De -de -de -de. Nope, nope, nope. There. Aha! Yes. Okay, so this is gonna fall down this way. And it's also gonna fall down this way. Nice. We can also have it fall over here. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. I'm liking it so pretty. Oh, shoot. Uh, apparently you have to do them in the order. Oh, like that was the wrong thing to do. Right. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, and I think we'll have like one more river going this way. Oh no! Okay. Yeah, that wasn't the way I wanted it to go. Is this some... What level is this? This is 1T. So this is actually still a river. Um, because if somebody mentioned this, and that's absolutely true, if it goes down below that, basically you are in the sea. So we want to make sure that we're still in the river. Having a river. Wait, I don't... Um, actually, I want to bring this up a bit. I'd rather this be river than sea. So let's see if we can do this properly. There we go. Sorry plants, you're gonna go in the middle of the river now. Apologies. Okay, there we go. Yay! Okay, so now we have a really nice little river going on over here. Um, here? That's good. What else do we need? I think I should put a river out here too. It's kind of a... What's, what level is this? Zero T definitely needs to come up. I think we can make this whole thing a little bit bigger. No, not that. Please, no. This is what I wanted. Thank you. And there we go. Right. Okay. Let's put a new river source up here. And we'll use our new handy dandy thing. There we go. Uh, there we are. Boom. Put it back on this thing for now. Come on, cursor. There we go. Da -da -dee -dee -dee. Okay. I'll have like a wider river here, I think. That'll be nice. I'll just have like this really wide river going through here. That's not quite what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's try that again. Let's bring it back up. I think I, yeah, I didn't do this the right way. Is that right ish? No? Still not quite right. Um, right, let's get our controls. Wow. Okay, get this underwater and that under. No! This is what I want. Okay, bring it up two and then down one. Okay, that's probably what I want better. Right. Simple mistakes, my goodness. All right, so let's take this out down here. This can go into the sea, I think, like that. Nice, okay, great. So now we have this really 
big wide river, which is kind of cool. We can make a little tiny, um, whatchamacallit, a little branch off to this side. Just going through these hills. Nice. Okay, and then we can do this as well. This side. Like that. Okay. Let's see. Aha! Very nice. Wow, this is like filled with water over there. I feel like I should bring up some of this land here. Um, let's grab this and bring it up. Just make this a low. This is what I want to know. Oh my god. <laughs> I keep forgetting um, to do the... Um, I got so used to using one of the controls that it's like not working when I try to use the other one. So, so okay. So what have we got? We're going up to 33C. I think that's probably too hot. Wow. That looks so pretty, doesn't it? Wow. Goodness me. Let's just see. Whoa. Wow. That looks pretty epic, I have to say. Just gorgeous. Goodness me. All right, cool. Oh, we have some conifers growing here too. This looks really cool. All right, let's get out of this mode. Right, so we have a shore temperature right now of how much? 31 degrees. I think let's, let's try to get some of these animals. I, though I think we may need some more a uh, height in the land here. I'm wondering if we should just add a few more mountains over here. Let's do that. Okay, let's just go here and we need to get that temperature down pronto. it would bring up some of these other things from below because it's a little bit annoying having to kind of like select them individually like it'll only take from the lowest part at the moment So let's use our B. There we go. Okay, there we go. Getting an interesting thing going on here. changing shape. Okay, so we have our temperature right now. Let's see what happens. Let's go Okay, back to the world and we'll save the game. Just in case it all goes horribly wrong. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Clematus. All right. Oh, we got a Hornia Phyton and a Clematius. All right, so let's go and collect those guys. Right. Um, I'm looking for the blinky ones, but they're not. Oh, is this one? Maybe? No, that's a yellow thing. Oh, there's one. 
Aha, I found one. I found one. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a fishy. Ooh, all right. Hey, how you doing? Aw, oh, pretty fishy fishy. Nice, that's just what we were shooting for. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so we have our river fishy. Captured. Oh, he's green. A small fish that migrated from brackish waters to freshwater as the number of rivers on land began to increase. Oh, this is exactly what we wanted. Hooray. Okay, cool. So let's go and seek out our next friend. I see the dot right up there. Up here. Where is it? Oh. Oh, my God. Oopsies. Okay. So, hi. This is a horny of phyton. Ooh, it's pink. A cyanophyton that adapted to warm wetlands. Excellent. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Very cool. I'm happy about this. Okay. So, what else can we get? Let's see. Uh, let's save again. I'm so nervous about this because animals can go extinct very easily. All right, let's look at the tree and see what we need to get now. So we've gotten our little river fish. That's this, is it this one here? Okay, cool. What about, this is, yeah, those are too hot. These are in the sea. Oh, these need to be much higher temperatures to get anything else. Hmm, 168. Okay, cannot live in extreme depth. All right, what is this then? Migrate into warm waters. Okay, so that actually should be good. Um, this is a saltwater fish. Okay, so maybe we need... Well, those temperatures, wow, they're very low on some of these guys. All right, Ichthyostega, we still don't have yet. Um... Okay, 49 to 88. If we look at here, the game info. Okay, it's uh, short temperature 30 degrees. And we have plenty of coelacanthus, actually. 30 degrees. Let's see our shore temperature. It's actually at 31 degrees at the moment. So we might even want to possibly raise some more land. Let's just do that. I think I'm going to raise this land, the whole thing, just up one tile or so, so that it's at one T rather than zero T. All right, I've gotten this whole area to be a little bit higher. We've uh, changed the temperature down one degree. My idea for this area is I kind of want this to be like a low humidity area if possible. Um, so I'm not going to have any rivers over here. In fact, I might even um, change things a little bit so that these guys like, will have even less access to water generally. Okay. Okay. And we'll move this as well. want that to be actually up at 29 so I'm gonna um, change this and I'm gonna move more C this way there we go there's some more deep C for our coelacanthus to live in okay I don't know if he needs like other like shelves of other fish down there or not going to change this just a tiny smidgen. There we go. We're back up to 29, which is good. Okay, we'll change that a little bit. Okay, so now we have a little bit more room for him to roam around. Okay, so let's go back to the world and press go. <laughs> Are we going to get anything in here? 
Heliophyllum is going down. Clematius. Is there anything else? No. All right, let's go to figure out what we need else. What is the shore temperature? Okay, this, the climate hasn't stabilized just yet. The shore temperature is still 31 degrees. I think we need to just... Okay, let's go back to the world and... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. I keep pressing the wrong buttons to go to different places. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, Horniophytons are going up. Clematius is going up. Ooh, Picaia has died up. Died out. Cyclomedusa is almost ready to die out. Lepidodendrons. Oh, wow, lots of things are gonna die off. A Glalophyton. All right, let's see what we can do. It's interesting. Um, okay, so we've got 29 degrees at the moment. Short temperature is now 29 degrees. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Looks like we need to raise it one degree, maybe? It's interesting that there's not much growing up here. Uh, let me... Uh, do 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 that little really weird ridge off. Uh, we need to make it a little bit warmer, I think. Just a little bit. We can make this into... You know what? We'll add more deep sea for our little uh, coelacanthus, I think. So it's like 30 degrees. I think I also want to make some, like, a little bit deeper, shallow, like, like, more sea area, because I don't have a lot of sea, I've noticed. I have a lot of shallows, but not a lot of sea. So, there we go, there's sea. Make it, like, 5T. Okay, so we have we have some stuffs. I don't want to mess with it further. Okay, let's go. Come on, things, please work. <laughs> Jeez. Um Okay. Cyclomedusa is going away. Andreolepsis. We have tons of those now. Um, let's see our, our library. What else we can get at the moment? Uh, this one is locked. Okay, so we can't actually get that one yet. We can get these, though. Um, saltwater fish. Hmm... What about here? This is going to be really high temperatures. Okay. What about these guys? We don't have any of these. Wow. These are in the shallows. Wow, 5 degrees? These go to 24 degrees. We have it's too hot for that right now. Wow. Okay, well, some trilobites such as Phacops stayed in shallow water. This arthropod migrated onto land instead. Okay, so we need really low temperatures for this. Uh, we could go to 29 degrees or so. Let's see if we can get this one. Uh, but we need low low uh, moisture. So I'm thinking I might use one of those tools to get a better moisture content on land. Alright, so we need 29 degrees somewhere. Right, so let's go back. Here we have 30 degrees, but we could make this a little bit higher elevation. Like this is all 29 degrees, this whole plateau here. So I think I would, 
might even, um, but it's 46 humidity. Now here we have much cooler temperatures, but the humidity is really high because we have rivers. So I'm thinking if I create an area over here, we could, so it's going to be a little bit cooler. Um, and hopefully more arid. I'm going to get, I'm going to use our, uh, our tool. Let's do this. I think I'm going to use one of those uh, things. Let's make the air here quite global cooling, small rain cloud, strong sunlight. That's what we need. We need sunlight here. Okay. Lower soil moisture. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see if that's enough. I don't know if it's gonna lower it immediately. Or not. got something nice let's go here did we get what we wanted I don't know if we got what we wanted or not oh hello this is a new one of these sort of bacterial colonies I think Lepito leprototaxites okay very cool a prototaxite that adapted to life in a hot arid lands it can decompose a variety of organisms oh that sounds very cool indeed. All right, nice. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so we're having, let's see, we've got 27 degrees and 36% humidity. So let's check our thing again. What are we going for? We're we going for what, this one? No, 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 no. We wanted that arthropod. This one? No, this one. We wanted this one. Yeah, it goes 5% to 34 and birth from 19 to 29. Okay, so I think we've got that actually. Hmm. There we go. It could stay in this very uh, arid area right there. Okay. What is our shore temperature? It is 30 degrees. I still don't know why we don't have the uh, those other critters up here. But that's okay. Let's uh, see if we can let the world go a little bit. Oh, ooh, leprototaxites. Uh -oh, nice. Okay, we got some more. We got a blue grama as well. Okay, so let's go and find these critters. Are they both here? No, maybe I just got one of those. Oh, hello. You are the blue grama, maybe? Possibly? There it is, blue grama, a plant that thrives in warm, dry climates. It differentiated with the proliferation of cyatophyton. Okay, very nice. Okay, um, and there was just another one somewhere. Um, da -de 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 -de. where is it? Is it no? Let me try this. Thing. Change our menu to new stuffs. Did I did I get both of them then? Let's see, that's plants, animals, animals, plants, new stuffs. Okay, so no nothing new just yet. Okay, well we still can. Uh, let's look in our library and make sure there's none that we haven't collected yet. I don't see any yet, so I think we should be okay. There's a lot of critters to find, that's for sure. 
Okay, so what else? On our tree. I'm tempted to just like use one of those evolution seeds on this one, on the fake hops. If we have any. I don't know, we might. We might have one. Okay. What is this? Hmm. Yeah, these need hot water to to go. What about this? This needs sea birth temperature 20 to 30 degrees. Um Huh. Do we do I wonder if we still have any cyclomedusa? Maybe not. If we don't have any, then we probably can't get this one to be born. Uh if it's if it's a direct link. I don't know. 15 to 25 degrees. I think we have, it's too warm for that. Oopsie. No, 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 go back. Go back, back, back. Because it'll be in the regular sea. Yeah, it's too warm here. Unfortunately. Alright. Let's still hope that arthropod ends up here. that trimerophyte and calamites okay hold on stop 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 game okay look at this trimerophyte let's go and find that Ooh. okay that was just a prize that's the thing that's always there okay oh, we're gonna come up on something oh it's a tree as a pretty tree. Oh my god, that's a pretty tree. I like it. It's pretty. Okay, let's capture you. I love this thing. Look at this. Okay. A tree that has adapted to warm plains. It seems to be a differentiation from blue grandma. Oh, so it's either calamites or calamities. <laughs> Whichever way you prefer to pronounce it. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's go that way. Oh, I love this tree. I want it. How, how do we... Wait, let's look at the info again. No, not that. Not that. Is it X? No. A? No. Nope. It's none of the above. Okay. I forgot how to look at some particular trees and stuff. Is it start? No, probably not. Ah, we're going to look in the library. It's okay. We're going to look there. It's easier. Oh, and here's the other thing that we haven't caught yet. All right. So this needs height. Just says land. Warm plains. Okay. And birth moisture. Okay. Adaptation temperature. Oh, up to 41 degrees. Nice. Okay. So the next thing over there oh it's over there Here we oh we got a full desert going on look at this this is great oh hello all right so who are you you are trimerophytes okay nice trophic level c awesome okay cool i think yeah that's awesome let me do 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 a silophyton that for flourishes in warm, dry climates. Okay. I'm really liking that we're filling out our little evolutionary tree. I think that's very cool. Uh, I think it is time to end the episode because I'm quite sure I've gone way, way overboard. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.